Hey, this is Dan. And that's Zach. We're coming to you from Royal Oak, Michigan. You're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. We're on another exciting project. I'll turn the camera around. I'm gonna let Zach explain to you exactly what we're doing here today. Hey, so what we got going on here today is we have an existing pondless and well, it's come time for the homeowners to wanna actually upgrade it a little bit and we're actually adding on an extra waterfall to it. We have our spillway, our new spillways going in over here to the left. And well, we are, as you can see, we already got our existing waterfall over to the right. We actually ended up rebuilding that one from scratch a little bit. And so we used a lot of the older materials, but other than that, we are pretty much just going with a new one and adding a little bit of height and length to it. So this existing wall was already here. The homeowners really wanted to keep it. So what we're doing is we're incorporating it into the new feature. We've got the spillway box right here. I'll walk around to the back side. And what we've done is we've curved the retaining wall so the homeowner can um, use this planter that we just put in. So we curved the retaining wall around the back and they're gonna set in um, probably a pre-planted uh, pot. Maybe they'll even do some ivy over, over uh, hanging the pot itself and just add a little bit more interest to it. So you're probably wondering what this big piece is. Years ago, this was put in, and this is a, actually a fire bowl. So they could plumb it up for a gas line in here. It's never been used like that. Um, they have had wood put in there in the past and had a nice blazing fire. But this is the, uh, it's supposed to be the world. You can see North America here, South America. It's not a history lesson, but hey, so we're going to uh, work our magic, move around some rocks, and uh, see what we come up with when we're done. We'll fire it up and we'll show you what's going on. What are you doing, Carl? I told you to kill the gophers. <laughs> kill all the gophers. All right, so the homeowner's going to come out. She's got an idea that um, she wants to make some changes. So we're all out for changes. Um, let's hear what she has to say. Hi, Dan. Hey. I would like to come up with some kind of an idea to fill in this portion of the yard that makes it look like it's a part of this, but it can be a standalone thing, maybe. So this whole area here, you're not. There's no plans for it. None. Zero. Okay. A standalone water feature. Um, so no more waterfalls? No. Okay. Um, but something that would kind of tie in with it all. Something that would tie in. Okay. I'm going to think about this for a little bit and we'll get back to you on what we're going to come up with. For, for this area right here is a standalone water feature. Because from the house, this is what their view is. right here now this is all the way from the house they've got a new structure a new house going in right now and she's telling us that there's this is all unusable space back here this is the area that they sit at so it's, it's a little bit lower we've created or we're creating right now another waterfall coming down she wants to go higher she wants more back in through this area so I think I've got, I think I've got the idea of what we're going to do. Let me show you a little bit right here in this next clip of what we're going to propose to her. Customers, you got to love them. Always changes. We always have to be able to adapt when we're out in the field doing things. But you know what? That challenges us as rock artisans to be able to hone our craft and change things around.
so the waterfall is done. We've added another spillway to it. Let me show you the work. So we've got same pump. It's an aqua surge, two to four thousand gallon. Reset a couple stones over here, and then we create we created this secondary waterfall up in here to come down. So what I need to do now is come up with a price for an independent standalone waterfall right over here in the backdrop and we'll take it from there. So that's a wrap on this project. Let us know in the comments below what you think and we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.